A car is traveling at 65 miles per hour on the freeway. The driver looks down at his cell phone for 12 seconds. How far has the car traveled in feet in the 12 seconds the driver wasn't watching the road? Notice how the rate is given in miles per hour. We want the distance in feet in 12 seconds, which means for the first step, we will convert the unit rate of 65 miles per hour to the unit rate in feet per second. We first write the rate of 65 miles per hour in fraction form, which is 65 miles per or over one hour. And now we multiply by unit fractions to convert miles to feet and hours to seconds. Let's first convert the miles to feet. One mile is equal to 5,280 feet. And since we want the units of miles to simplify out, and right now we have miles in the numerator, for the unit fraction, we must have miles in the denominator and feet in the numerator. And again, because one mile is equal to 5,280 feet, the unit fraction is 5,280 feet over one mile. Notice miles simplify out. And now we need to convert hours to seconds. We will first convert hours to minutes. Because we want hours to simplify out, and right now we have hours in the denominator, for the next unit fraction, we must have hours in the numerator and minutes in the denominator. And since one hour is equal to 60 minutes, the next unit fraction is one hour over 60 minutes. Notice hours simplify out. For the last unit fraction, we need to convert minutes to seconds. We want minutes to simplify out, and therefore for the next unit fraction, we must have minutes in the numerator and seconds in the denominator. And since one minute is equal to 60 seconds, the last unit fraction is one minute over 60 seconds. And notice minutes simplify out. Notice now we have the units of feet and seconds. Multiplying the numerator, we have 65 times 5,280 feet. In the denominator, we have 60 times 60 seconds. And now we'll go to the calculator. In the numerator, we have 65 times 5,280. Notice how we have the numerator in parentheses, and then divided by the denominator in parentheses, which is 60 times 60. Notice how the unit rate has a repeating decimal. If we run it to the hundredths place value or two decimal places, we'd have approximately 95.33 feet per second. But we don't want to use a rounded unit rate to find the distance traveled in 12 seconds. So let's go back to the calculator and find the exact simplified rate. To do this, we press math, enter, enter, which gives us the exact fraction for the previous entry. So the exact simplified rate would be 286 feet per three seconds. So we shouldn't use the rounded unit rate to find the distance traveled in 12 seconds because we'd have an error in the distance. So we'll use the exact simplified rate of 286 feet per three seconds to determine the distance traveled in 12 seconds. Remember, distance is equal to rate times time and therefore the distance traveled in 12 seconds is equal to the exact rate of 286 feet per three seconds times the time of 12 seconds, which is a fraction would have a denominator of one. Notice these seconds simplify out, leaving us with the distance in feet. Also notice how three and 12 share a common factor of three, so we can simplify there's one three and three and four threes and 12. And now let's go to the calculator. 286 times four is equal to 1,144. We could have also found this product without simplifying by entering 286 divided by three in parentheses and then times 12. And of course we get the same result. So now we know the distance traveled in 12 seconds is 1,144 feet.
Let's write the answer as a complete sentence. If a driver looks down at a cell phone for 12 seconds, traveling at 65 miles per hour, the car will travel 1,144 feet during that time, which is a little scary because that is longer than three American football fields, which would be 1,080 feet. So the moral of the story here is keep your eyes on the road and don't check your phone while driving. It's not safe.